Hello, my name is Dr. Kurt Rice Beatman, one of the junior doctors here on the ward. Is it okay if I get your full name and how old you are before we start? Chris Smith, I'm 55. Okay, and is Chris okay? Yeah, you call me Chris, call you what you like. Okay, Chris. So I've been asked by one of my colleagues to come and have a chat with you about why you've come into hospital. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So with that being said, what's brought you in, Chris? Well, I, I had to come in, they brought me in because my neighbours are annoying me. And, and and this morning I, 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 I needed to have it out with them. Okay, okay. Could you tell me a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, because they've been they've been telling me telling me things. They've been talking to me right through the walls. Okay, okay. And how how long has this been going on for? I don't know, a couple of weeks. Okay, okay. And w what are they saying to you? This, well, what they're doing is they're telling God everything I've done. Okay. So they say he's making a cup of tea now. Okay. Or he, he's, he's just about to get in the shower. They say things like that and they tell God all of that. Okay, and, and why, why would they be saying that about you? Because God nicked 500 quid out of my bank account. Okay. Took 500 quid out of my bank account, God did. Okay, and, and how, how did he do that? Oh, I don't know. He's got special powers, hasn't he? He could do what he likes. Yeah. yeah. But 500 quid's gone out of it. Okay, okay. And you mentioned you can hear your, your neighbours talking to you, is it just one neighbour? I, I can hear somebody talking to me, yeah, one okay. person, each time. Okay, and can, can you describe the voice for me, if that's okay? It's a man, so okay. I can't I can't tell it there's a man's voice. Okay. What, what else can I say? Yeah, okay. And do you recognise this man, the, the, the voice of the I man? I don't know who it is, but it could be my neighbour, right? Okay, okay. Because they spy on me, they spy on me all the time. Okay, okay. And, and what, what are the, what's the voice saying? It's saying things like, it's, it's saying things, he's, whenever I do anything, okay. I say, he's doing this now, or he's doing that now. Okay. And and so this morning I had enough, I went, I banged on his door and I said, you know, you better stop this, you better stop talking to me, okay. that's what I said. Okay, okay. And can anybody else hear this voice or is it just yourself? I don't, I don't know, I don't know anyone else can hear it, I, don't, I can't tell what other people hear, can I? Okay, okay. And... Is it just the one voice? Yeah. Okay. And you mentioned the voice is essentially saying what you're doing. Okay, okay. The thoughts haven't told you to harm anyone or yourself, but have you, have you thought about harming yourself at all? No, no, I wouldn't do that. Okay, and you've not thought about taking your own life? No, no, why would I do that? Okay, and you've not thought about harming anybody else? No. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, just then, you, you stopped and you put your hand up. Um, can, can I ask you why that was, if that's yeah. okay? I thought I thought I could hear, I thought I could hear him again. Okay, and what, what was he saying? I couldn't hear him. Oh. He went away. Okay, okay. I just need to um, ask about some other symptoms, if that's okay, Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... How, how's the mood been since this all started? The mood? Just, what mood? I'm not fine. Okay, okay. You've not felt um, really, really low? No. Okay, no, or no. Re really, really high? No, I need to get this sorted. I've got to get it sorted. Okay, okay. And obviously you, you're hearing this voice. Um, do you ever experience things like seeing things that other people can't? No, no, I'm not mad. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling things that other people can't, sensations on the skin, for example. No, 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 not that. Okay, okay. And sometimes people can, when they have, uh, you know, they can hear voices like you've experienced, sometimes they can have issues with the thoughts. They can feel like the thoughts aren't their own. Is that something that applies to you? No, no, they're all my own thoughts. Okay, so there's, there's nobody putting thoughts into your head? No, no, no. taking them away? No. And people can't hear your thoughts? No, 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 this, but it's this voice talking to me. Yeah, yeah. I can see that it can be, it's, it's quite distressing. Yeah. Yeah, I can appreciate it, it's been quite difficult. Yeah. Yeah, how's, how's this been impacting you? It's just, I had to sort it out today, it's just got too much now. Yeah. It's been building up and building up and building yeah. up, it's got too much. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Um, you've given me quite a lot of information there as well. Do you, do you have any idea what this might be? This this is them spying on me. This is okay. what it is. You know they've got uh, CCTV cameras and they point straight into my living room window, my bedroom window. Okay. 
they're just spying on me. Okay. And what would you say that your, your biggest concern is? To get them out of it, to, you know, yeah. get them away. Yeah, okay. And expectations wise, um, what's the best thing that we can do for you today? Stop these voices. Get these voices, stop yeah. them. Yeah, that's completely understandable. Okay, Chris, I've just got to ask a few more questions if that's okay. Just so I can get a better picture of what's been going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. So do you have any other medical conditions? No. Okay. And has anything like this ever happened before? Probably, yeah, once or twice. I can't remember. And what happened when, when you I had I don't know. I don't remember all okay. of that. I just need no. it stopping this yeah. time. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I can appreciate that. Okay. Do you take any medications, Chris? Uh, no. And are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. Does anything run in the family at all? Dad's schizophrenic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And socially, who, who's at home with you at the moment? So I share, I share a flat with a friend of mine. Okay. And, and before you started hearing these voices and from, from next door, um, how, how were you finding your, your, you know, your tasks around the house? I was doing fine. I was doing fine until they started. Yeah, yeah. And do, do you drink at all, Chris? Uh, no, I don't drink. Okay. And what about smoking? <sighs> about 20 a day. And how long has that been going on for? <sighs> 20 years. Okay, okay. And any illicit drug use? Cannabis, okay. cannabis smiths, spliffs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and how long has that been going on for, a if you don't mind time, asking? Yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, I've been smoking for a couple of years. Okay, okay. And diet and exercise, how are they? I don't know, fine, I suspect. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's all the questions that I've got for you, Chris. Have you got any questions for me before we finish? No, 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 no. Okay, well, thank, thank you for talking to me today. Okay. On my mental state examination today, this patient appears agitated and unkept. He wasn't engaged in the conversation as he wouldn't keep eye contact with me. He was also being actively distracted by auditory hallucinations. His speech was of normal rate, rhythm and volume. However, the content was abnormal. He referenced his neighbours being spies and working with God to take his money multiple times. He reports having a normal mood, however to me he seemed very agitated. He's experiencing auditory hallucinations. He truly believes this voice to be there and identifies it as a man who reports on his actions. The voice does not tell him to harm himself or others. He's experiencing no other forms of hallucination. With regards to his thoughts, he can form them normally. However, the content is abnormal. He has fixed paranoid delusions around his neighbors being spies and he has complete control over his own thoughts. There is no evidence of formal thought disorder. He has a complete lack of insight into his condition and doesn't believe himself to be unwell. Finally, there were no issues with cognition. Overall, I would say that this patient is at moderate risk of self-neglect and of harming himself or others.